just fine. Thank you, Jim. Herbs can help with back pain, insomnia, and many other ailments, it's said. They're also convenient. You can pick them up at nearly any store. And some people say mixing herbs can be a dangerous game of roulette. The stake could be your life. KXAN's Casey James visited the Texas College of Traditional Chinese Medicine here in Austin, and tonight they have a warning for you. Can we get some more gone sal? Here at the Texas School of Traditional Chinese Medicine, students spend years learning everything about herbs. We take a lot of classes so that we understand the body just like anybody in Western medicine would study as well. Texas requires students to take 450 hours and offers one of the country's toughest exams before awarding someone their herbal license. The school believes patients can benefit from both Western and traditional medicine. Surgeries and prescription drugs might be needed, but herbs can also help. 5,000 years of trial and error, you know, um, just a, has a very rich history and it's been proven time and time again. But the school says they are concerned at how easily available herbs are in this country. People can buy whatever they want at any time. We need to face the reality and how to protect for the public safety. Lisa Lin is the president of the college and says Americans are under a false impression and that just because it's natural doesn't mean it can't harm you. If you want to buy the herbs in China, in Taiwan, you need to go to prescription to buy the herbs, but not in this country. In countries like Taiwan and China, they consider herbs to be medicine, just like Americans consider penicillin to be medicine and you must have a prescription to get any herbs. They don't have that kind of knowledge. They really can hurt them. Lin says mixing the wrong herbs together can cause serious health issues, and mixing herbs with other drugs can even be deadly. If you use herbs, you need a caution. If you don't know what kind of herb to use, maybe you will hurt yourself. For the public safety, Lin says she would like the government to pass new laws to better restrict the sale of herbs. Casey James, KXA News. Now, the FDA considers herbs to be a supplement, and they do regulate the quality of herbs, but it's up to consumers to understand what the herb does for you, how it could interact with your body. For more information, you can just visit this story right now at kxan.com.